Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to create values only using line. This is the worksheet you'll be getting. It has an example up at the top of a value scale only using line and it goes from lightest to darkest. And the thing to remember about creating values um, when you're only using lines is that the closer together the lines are, the darker the value will be. So if the lines are close together, it'll be darker. And then the farther apart the lines are, the lighter the value will seem. So for this first one, it's going to be cross-hatching. All cross-hatching means is that you do one set of lines one way and another set of lines the other way. Okay, so that's cross-hatching. Hatching is just lines in one direction. Scribbles is, you know, scribbles, like your little kid. Zigzags, like that. And then the last two will be inventing your own and then combining two of these that you've already done. So for the first one, which is cross-hatching, the lightest is going to be farther apart. Okay, so I've got my set of lines going one way and then another set going in another direction. And then I want to start getting darker in my value. So I'll start putting the lines closer together. So now I have more lines and they're closer together. And so you just keep getting them closer and closer. your values will start getting darker. So you're still only using line, you're not coloring anything in. But your eye sees it as a darker value. Another thing to keep in mind is um, if you want to get your value darker, you can do another layer on top. So the more layers you have, the darker your value will seem. So for example, I don't think this is dark enough. So I'm going to do a second layer on top. Still using the same kind of line, same direction. I'm just doing another layer on top. And then so the last one would be the darkest, so the lines are pretty much touching. And like I said, if you do it the first time and it's not dark enough, go over it again. All right, so that's the first one that's cross hatching. And I just drew my lines, and to get darker, I put them closer together. The next one will be hatching. It's the same idea as this one, except you're only going to do one set of lines for hatching. So there's one. Start getting them closer together. It'll make it seem like the value is getting darker. And again, if you don't think it's dark enough, you can do another layer. And then your darkest layer, your darkest value, is going to be lines touching completely. And I've gone over this several times to make it darker. Still using the same line, same direction, like that. The same idea for the scribbles and zigzags. You'll do zigzags, 
and the closer together they get, the darker it'll be. Also, with something like zigzags and um, scribbles, the smaller the zigzag, it'll start looking darker. So for this one, my zigzag looks pretty big, and I only have two. But now I'm going to get smaller and have them closer together. And that will make it seem like the value is getting darker. Okay, so I'm not going to go through all of those. Um, but then invent your own technique. It'll be the same, um, same idea. Um, you can do whatever you want as long as it's only using line. And I might draw circles. So for this one, size, again, is going to be a factor in um, how dark the value is going to get. So my circles are getting smaller. They're getting closer together. There's more of them, so it starts to seem like the value is getting darker. And so I would finish that one. And then the last one is you're going to just combine any two of these that you've already done. So you could combine the um, hatching with zigzags. So it would be lines that are farther apart and then the zigzags and you would just keep doing the same thing making your lines closer together and smaller if you need to and that's how you create value only using line